Hello, everyone. My name is Attorney Bradford Kilby, and I am once again standing before you requesting that on November 8th, you cast a vote so I can continue my work as one of your Fall River City Councilors. A little bit about my background. I'm a lifelong resident of Fall River. I reside at 1846 Robeson Street with my wife, Monique, and my three children, Thomas, who recently graduated from Stonehill College, my daughter, Elizabeth, who attends Diamond as a junior, and my son, Brad, uh, who is a freshman at Durfee High School. My wife, Monique, and I are very, very proud of our children and have tried to uh, instill in them the work ethic that we both believe in. Professionally, I own and operate a law practice here in the, in the city of Fall River um, and been doing so for the past 15 years. Prior to that, I was a teacher at BMC Durfee High School uh, working with at-risk students. Um, and it's something that I have fond memories of uh, many of the students that I did uh, hopefully influence in a positive way. Uh, educationally, I attended uh, BMC Durfee High School, graduating in 1983. Bridgewater State College, where I received my teaching license, graduating in 1987. And then attended law school, New England School of Law in Boston, working by day as a teacher, uh, going up to Boston three or four times a week at night, and four years later uh, uh, started uh, my law practice that continues today. My elective office experience, I was a member of the Fall River City, uh, excuse me, Fall River School Committee uh, for eight years and was very, very proud of the votes that I took at that time and the positions taken. And may I say, throughout all the years that I've been an elected official, if you were to ask my colleagues at the time or elected officials who are still on, I'm sure they would say that Attorney Brad Kilby is someone who is fair, direct, honest, and who is willing to take a stand when needed but is also willing to be part of a team when the vote is appropriate. So I was a member of the Fall River School Committee for eight years, very, very uh, proud of the votes that I took, the positions that I'd taken, whether it was entering into collaborative bargaining with our teaching, teachers union for the first time in Fall River's history, to the building of new schools uh, throughout the city of Fall River. And it's ironic when I drive down President Avenue and I see the Morton Middle School being demolished uh, and the new school, finally the new school that's going to be built on that site, that's going to serve our students and our teachers and our staff well for many, many years to come. Currently, I'm a member of the Fall River City Council. I've been uh, so for the last six years, and I'm chairman of public safety. Um, and I don't think you're going to find a counselor on the city council who has been more vocal in terms of public safety, uh, the rank and file of our police department, uh, the rank and file of our fire department, um, and someone who has always been an advocate for more staffing uh, for those departments. Educationally, I, as I said, I've always supported public education, and I pledge to you I will always bring a, spring, a strong voice to the City Council with regard to adequate educational funding for our school system. Just this year, when Chapter 70 money, that's educational money, was going to be used for other purposes, myself and a number of my colleagues very strongly uh, uh, demanded that the administration fully fund uh, our educational system and meet net school spending that is required by the state. Anything less than that would have been, I think, a big mistake on a part of any community. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, uh, I humbly stand before you. I'm asking for your vote on November 8th. Um, if you'd followed elective office and politics throughout the city of Fall River over the last decade, um, I'm sure you know my record, you know where I stand, uh, you, you're dealing with someone who prides himself on constituent service uh, and prides himself on uh, doing the right thing in order to improve the city of Fall River. So once again, on November 8th, please cast one of your nine votes for Attorney Brad Kilby for the Fall River City Council, and I promise I will not let you down.